I'm Honda Pro Jason, and welcome to the Honda Pro Show. Watched by millions worldwide and kept alive because you subscribe. This week, as always, we're bringing you the hottest Honda news stories from around the globe. Welcome to this week's edition of the Honda Pro Show. I'm Honda Pro Jason, and with me as always is my cameraman, Matt. Hello, everyone. Hey, Matt. My first story is a huge one. The Civic Type R has finally been unveiled in concept form at the Paris Motor Show. But if you guys have been paying attention, Honda's concepts are almost exactly production. There's a couple of lighting changes and some colors changes, but that's about it. So this car looks insane. From bumper to bumper, all these air dams, all this widening, it looks awesome. This is gonna be a hot hatch that everybody is gonna to wanna to buy. And next year, everyone should be able to buy it because this car will be sold worldwide, which means the US gets it, Canada gets it, Europe's gonna get it. Hopefully Australia gets it and the rest of the world should get it as well. This is going to be monumental guys. This is going to be the most sold worldwide Civic Type R in history. And looking at these pictures, this is going to bring us one step closer to something we've all been waiting for, to drive and to check out the Civic Type R. How impressed would you guys be if I told you that Honda brought a vehicle powered by a 660cc engine to the Bonneville Salt Flats to break a speed record. Probably not real impressed. Well, check this out. A bunch of young engineers from Japan did just that. They took an engine out of the S660. They heavily modified it and brought it to the Bonneville Salt Flats, hoping to break a world record. And they did it. 261.87 miles an hour they did in this monster. How crazy is that thing? Matt and I have been talking about the Civic Hatchback come to the U.S. for about 12 episodes now. Well, guess what? It is finally in the U.S. Well, some of the U.S. Like Connecticut and Florida and California, parts of the East Coast have it. Hopefully, the rest of the country will get it very, very soon. It has been awesome. Thank you guys so much for sending me all the pictures, all the videos you guys have done. Honda has just released the configurer online. If you go to Honda's website, you can actually configure the new hatchback however you want it. And wait until you see the accessory wheels. They look awesome. All the new lighting they have for the car for accessories look great. And for the very first time, you guys saw it at the SEMA Auto Show, but now they actually sell black lug nuts with black wheel locks. I don't know about you guys, but those are gonna go on my Project Orange for sure. So I'm getting ready for my tips and tricks. I'm getting ready for my first walk around on the car. In fact, I just read the whole manual, all 638 pages of it. For the second year in a row, I was asked to host the design and drive competition at ArtPrize. What is ArtPrize? ArtPrize is the largest art contest in the world, held in Grand Rapids, and thanks to the West Michigan Honda dealerships, they gave six artists brand new Hondas to paint. Yeah, that's what I said, to paint. Check this out. They owe each chosen artist to represent each of the dealerships. All six of them gave them a car. They wrapped it in a white wrap. And then in whatever art form these artists did, they drew all over the cars. Here's the cool part. You guys get to vote on which one you like the most. The winner will win a two-year lease on a new Honda. How cool is that? I will be back at Art Prize on October 7th to announce the winner. There's a link below on how you guys can vote. Go ahead and vote. I can't wait to see which one of these is gonna win. Happy birthday to you. Happy birth, Matt, help me. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Honda. Honda just celebrated their 68th birthday. That's right. September 24th, 1948 is when Honda was incorporated in Japan. It's fun fact time. The Honda S Dream Streamliner 
that just set the world's record beat the old world record set by a Honda F1 car, making the 660cc powered car the fastest Honda car ever. And that's your fun fact of the week. It's October, and every October, I help raise awareness for breast cancer by wearing something pink. If you guys remember, every year in the past, I wear a pink shirt every day of October. Regardless of what I'm doing, what events I'm going to, I wear something pink. I have a nice small collection of things that people have sent me that are pink. I need your help though. I'd like to freshen this up a little bit. If you're a business or a car club or anything like that, and you can send me a pink shirt, I wear a large or an extra large if they run a little small. Send them out to my P.O. Box. It's Honda Pro Jason, P.O. Box 416. You guys can read this right here. Send me something pink. I'll wear it throughout the month.